Bruges and it is. So it's 11.15 a.m. We've just arrived at the hotel. We set off this morning at 3 a.m. Didn't actually feel like it's taken us that long, does it? Um, we can't check in yet. Jack said we could check in at 10 o'clock, but shock he got that wrong. So now we've got to uh, go park the car, not check in, leave our shit in the car. But we're here, it wasn't too bad. The hotel in it's really nice breakfast slash lunch now to have a little explore before we get into our room this afternoon i could do with a little nap but i'm gonna try not to <laughs> mug of coffee my 17 espresso is not black <laughs> first beer of the day <laughs> over how perfect this town is so clean zero rubbish and the cutest the roads and the streets are pretty small the building the buildings are lovely the buildings are just amazing the most cutest place i think i've ever been <laughs> so we've just come out for some food had a little nap jack's had to have a little pre-dinner snack he had to run to the shop had some couscous <laughs> had to buy couscous so many cyclists in Bruges. Wish I'd have bought my bike. Now it's got really warm this afternoon on this evening. So now I'm in like this, no jacket, nothing. So we've just walked <laughs> back to where we came earlier because Jack wanted to find this tapas bar, but then it didn't really look that open. So we decided to come here and no, sit in the sun. Yeah, the tapas bar was literally didn't dead. Staff. Didn't even have any staff. <laughs> we rang the bell and nobody came. So we just came and sat here, but it's really nice. Look at this horse. I um, found this blog on the internet before we came which basically says eight, 48 hours in Bruges um, and it gives you like places to visit, best places to go, what to do during the day and I've been following it a little bit and we've just walked to one place that says on it which I thought was another place. We got there and I was like uh, this is the wrong place and then we had to walk all the way back the other way but I found it, it's an underground bar <laughs> and it's, here it is, look, Potoscat down there and i'm so glad that we found it because that looks cool doesn't it can't see anything but it's really dark but it's really cool so it turns out that it's not a cocktail bar it just purely does beer which we weren't looking for but the beers are two euros each which means they are a third of the price we were paying elsewhere so where would you rather be jack well, that was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? Yeah. So it only sold beer, it wasn't a cocktail bar. And it was cash only. And it was cash only. We've got to find that all the cocktail bar that it says it's only two minutes away, so I'm going to quickly do it. That one on the corner. So glad that I listened to Jack when I asked him, should I bring a coat out with me? And he was like, nah, it's absolutely fine. It's really hot. Sounds. morning well same morning is it even morning still 11 41 and we're up ready thought i feel a lot worse than i do actually do today which is lucky it's <laughs> considering the amount of alcohol that we drank yesterday we're up ready dressed and we're gonna go for brunch i've another place that i saw online that i'm gonna go find hopefully it says all day brunch so fingers crossed it's really nice it looks so nice on instagram but i just wanted to show you the hotel duke's place or duke's palace but i would 100 percent recommend because it's so nice the cocktails were very strong but they were nice but the hotel is lovely but i just wanted to show you the room as well uh, as you can see we make ourselves right at home but obviously standard bed but it's not a standard size because it's it feels huge dressing gowns which i feel are such a vibe and slippers comfortable we like to live in comfort don't we huge mirror bathroom which is also cute and also a mess. Bath, shower, sneaky little Burger King that we had last night. Jack ran down to Burger King like two minutes before, two minutes before it closed and bought probably the whole, what felt like the rest of Burger King. So the whole, the whole of the shop. Yeah, you told me the other day, you'd be coming back today. No, really. I feel like that was one of the best brunch, brunch breakfasts I've literally ever had. So nice. And you get a free lolly at the end, so if you're in Bruges looking for brunch, that's the place to be. Really far because tonight I miss you, baby. 
these are our first Belgian chocolates since we've been here and <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Trying very hard not to eat the whole box, but not sure how that's gonna go. No. How's your Stella? It's actually really nice, actually. It's <laughs> actually really Try that. <laughs> so we've just been on the boat trip, which was super cute. And now we've come back to the beer wall that we were shrinking in yesterday. And I'm having a cherry beer. And look at this little spot we've got on the terrace. And this is a hole in the wall. Super cute. Just in the queue for House of Waffles. First waffle experience is about to go down. Jack's just got Giros. Jack, let's see your Giros. It's box. I thought I had a chicken, but I had a chicken sausage. Me and Jack are just walking past this alleyway that we must have walked past five times this whole trip. And it just literally smells like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It's just like an alleyway of chocolate. I wish it was like Willy Wonka, but you could just lick the walls and it tastes like chocolate. Gambas. Vegetarian. Oh, first vegetarian thing ever. Oh my god, it's so good. Is it? <laughs> Is it worth the fucking two hour wait? Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. How nice is that? So we're on our last morning. Just come to get pancakes. Jack woke up this morning and fancied pancakes. So may as well finish off the weekend strong. And then we are having a drive over to find a beach which is halfway between here and Calais. We hope it's a nice beach, and we hope it's not a horrid beach. We really are going in with it, with the green today. <laughs> so we've just arrived at the beach, which is quite nice, but I think I'm gonna finish my vlog here. Hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Bruges. I would 100% recommend I'll put the places that we've stayed, the places that we've visited, all in the all in the description box below. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.